In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite play in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this YouTube video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what I do, basically every single day I break down how you can get better at Madden tips, tricks, strategies that you can implement into your own game, whether it be your own playbook or your own play style or just the game in general. And it basically tries to help you get better at Madden. So again, we upload eight videos every single day on our YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the latest content. And again, subscribing is completely free. Over 60% of you guys that are watching my videos don't actually subscribe to the channel. So make sure to subscribe. Helps out the channel a ton. And again, if you don't enjoy the content, you can always unsubscribe at a later time. Okay, guys, I am really, really excited to share this video with you today, and the reason why is because the bunch tight end offense is almost done. It should be out tonight. The bunch tight end offense, I think, is the easiest and most simple um, offense to run, so you can focus on execution. You don't have to just focus on play setups and play design. So this is a very simple offense, um, and it's really built around this play that I'm going to jump into here with you guys today. And that is, is this. I run it from the Raiders playbook, but you could also run this from the, the run heavy. There's other formations as well. It's probably best. If, if you're going to only run bunch tight end, I would recommend running it out of the run heavy playbook. But I'm going to talk to you today about two plays in particular. We're going to talk about curl flat corner, and we're going to talk about the play stick. Uh, and the reason we're talking about those couple of plays is because those are the best plays in the entire game from this. Even though PA bootover is really, really good, this in particular play I think is even better. So um, first and foremost, going to set some zone drops here. Just going to set up the defense defaultly, um, as most people would if they were running this themselves. And we're going to come out in Mike Blitz 3, um, kind of the most popular defense in the game, the defense I run, and the defense I recommend for anyone that is trying to get better at the game. If you want to get my defensive ebook, that link is in the description. 55 wide is definitely the best defense in the entire game, and it's very easy to adjust to sets um, depending on what they run. So, all that being said, let's jump into curl flat corner, talk about why I like this play, and talk about what you can learn, especially with the latest patch. The latest patch changed everything for um, how you're going to want to run this play. So um, a couple things real quick. We all know that this is one of the most popular coverages in the entire game. This is Mabel coverage. Now, if you notice on the left side, um, one of the things that you're going to be able to do now, and, and again, you want to run this if you're on the right hash. You don't want to run this if you're on the left hash. If you're on the left hash, you don't want to flip the formation or something like that. Um, the beauty of this is this formation flips really fast. Uh, it flips faster than bunch. So if you want to, you can flip and quick snap them like crazy. Like literally I could be, um, you know, set up just like this right here. But all we're going to do is we're going to streak tape on Austin. We're going to put Vada Scantling on the out route. And then we're going to basically uh, just run whatever we want on the right side. You can run whatever you want. But watch this route to Devontae Adams. You're going to see here that all you're going to do is pass me this hard to the left. And as you see, you're going to get a nice, easy read. That curl flat or that corner route, in my opinion, is the best corner route in the entire game. Um, and the reason why is because default, its depth is so, um, its depth is so big that it really does open up. Now, again, with the latest patch, you can also streak Vada Scantling if you wanted to. If you, you'll notice here, if you streak Vada Scantling, though, sometimes you'll sometimes they'll jump down on the ball like that. So that's why I personally don't do it. What I recommend, um, and then real quick on Tampa two, which. On Tampa 2, what you'll notice here, again, I like to do it like this right here. This is my setup for it, and this is the best that I have found. Um, and the reason why is because that's the, the, the cover 3 now is designed, the way that they're telling the cover 3 to play defense now, is essentially if there is a, 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 a streak from the slot receiver, then the cover 3 is told to basically go to it. So uh, I could also smart route Devontae Adams as well if I wanted him to go a little bit shallower. You'll see here, um, basically it's just a pass lead up. The one issue I have with, with the um, smart routing of that route, especially if you know that they're running zone coverage, you know, if you think they're running man coverage, it's much, much better against man if you smart route that route. But if you think that they're running zone coverage, the one issue I have with this route when you smart route it um, is sometimes it does that little thing right there. But again, if you get it on the sideline, you can see that I can basically pass lead this up into the outside. So the one issue, like I said, that I have is I would rather just run the route like as is. I wouldn't. I don't like smart routing the route. I think it makes it worse. 
um, against zone, but it makes it a lot better against man. So, anyways, if you do smart route it, just pass lead it up. The one issue is you see that he sometimes glitches out on the sideline. Now, in game, I have not had any issues with that with that route. Um, practice mode, I think, I don't know why this happens, but whenever they update the game, practice mode sometimes lags a little bit behind. So, you know, just kind of be aware of that. But here you go. That's what I'm looking for right there. A little swerve catch to the outside. As you can see there, it beats um, it beats man or it beats cover two coverage. Now the next thing that I want to talk to you about is another uh, setup from this formation, and that's from the play stick. And it's basically using the same concept. It's just going to use a different corner route so that they can't just man up Devontae Adams. So what you'll notice here is I'm going to put Devontae Adams on an out route. I'm going to streak Tave on Austin again, and now you're going to watch this play. And what you'll see is that corner route on the left side gets over every zone drop. And it's very easy to be able to hit that um, because you have now spacing for it to be able to run. Now, you might be asking, as I'm asking, how does it do against Tampa 2? Uh, and we're going to dive into that together right here. So this is Tampa 2 coverage. And um, obviously, Curl Flat Corner does a really good job. We're going to check this play stick out here. And what you'll notice is if I run this against Tampa 2, you see the spacing is open there, and I can just basically pass that up and get the instant separation that I need. So this thing is really good against against zone coverage. If they're running a lot of zone coverage, um, you know this to me is, is, the, is the couple of offenses um, that you want to use. Zone coverage is really, really hard for them now to stop because of the latest patches. Um, it's really, really hard for them to stop a lot of what you can really do and bring to the table here. You'll notice if I streak Adams um, as opposed to Tavon Austin, you'll see here that the, the outside guy, you see that, did you notice that? The outside third sometimes will come down on it a little bit more. Again, in game mode, normally that does not happen, but in practice mode, for whatever reason, it kind of has been a little bit of an issue. Uh, and again, you know, like, one thing you could try is like fading. If I fade Devonte Adams, you'll see here now he's going to the outside. Um, but you see, you see that right there. That's what we're trying to. That's what we're trying to prevent. And so that's why I would recommend putting Devonte Adams on the out route because it's just super simple that way. And then it allows um, it 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 allows Tavon Austin to be the guy that's running him off. It doesn't matter. It it, it really does not matter. Um, you know that it's just a, that it's an interior streak or that it's outside third if they were to deep half let me just show you what that looks like so this is a deep half down on that outside guy and um here in a way he's running into this guy that's kind of a glitch um just kind of glitched out right there but let me show you what i'm talking about here uh, and while i'm doing that if you want to get the bunch offense if you want to get this whole scheme um it's going to be coming out tonight and i actually have a special deal for my text message members. So if you want to get the discount on it, text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. But here's the deep half. And as you can see here, deep half is even worse. It's it's not going to be able to defend it. So the most popular way that people are going to try to, to stop this, and this is why I like to do this, is you'll see a lot of people, what they'll do is they might, um, you know, basically they'll man up onto that slot player right there to, to Adams. Well, the reason that that matter, the reason that that's a big deal, is because then you go to the play stick. Well, now their man coverage is going into the flats. He's not going back there, and that's the beauty of having a nice little bunch formation that has multiple different people on the same route, um, so that they can't really, you know, they if they guess wrong on their cross manning, then you know you're going to be you know, you're going to be really, really sitting pretty. So as you can see here, like if they were to cross man onto square, um, as you see right here, I mean, this is wide open. It's a wide open uh, laser to Devontae Adams. So, you know, that's that's kind of what we're getting at with this offense. Um, I think this offense is super, super effective. The one thing I would recommend is to make sure that if if you know they're running man coverage, just smart route Devontae Adams. And if you have the opportunity um, to put route tech on him or put somebody out there that has over 90 route running, that will help this offense a ton. Um, it really, really will. But, you know, guys, and the, and the beauty of this is you can actually do this on both sides. Um, so, for example, let's say that I wanted to um, – Let's say that I wanted to streak table on Austin and do everything the same, except the only difference now is I'm going to motion Adams to the right. Watch this right here. The streak's going to run everything off. And then look, look at that outside third. He's not going to come down on that. 
and that's an absolute laser. So with the latest patch, they've really opened up the power of corner routes and crossing routes and a lot of stuff against cover three. So this bunch tight end offense just got a lot better. And if you want to pick it up as soon as it's released, go ahead and text me. My number is 812-216-3644. We should be releasing this ebook tonight on stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. So if you want to come see it live, come to the stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can always text me. And I also have other schemes as well that you can sign up for in my text message membership. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.